Our planet is a combination of amazing landforms of different elevations and different features. And one of the key things in geoscience or earth science is to be able to map the surface accurately using contour lines and taking that contour map and producing a profile graph of the same landscape or feature. In this video, we're gonna show you how to do that step by step. This is the Earth Science Classroom. A contour map is a map with contour lines, which are ISO lines that indicate or show areas of equal value. In this case, it's elevation in feet or meters, which is the height of the land above sea level. So in terms of on land or continent, and it can show various features. Now it takes the physical landscape in three dimension in real life and transforms it into a two dimensional projection using contour lines to accurately show the elevation changes across a landscape, including the valleys, rivers, hills, mountains, waterfalls, cliffs. All these features can be accurately shown on a contour map. Here we have a basic contour map. This is a contour map of an island with a max elevation or highest elevation of 500 feet or meters. And I know it's an island surrounded by water because of the last concentric connected loop contour line on the outside of this diagram is zero elevation, which indicates sea level, which indicates that there's a beach and that's where the land is touching the surface of the water. Obviously the land continues below the water, but in this case we're just looking at the above surface elevation of the land, or in this case the island. So we have the contour interval of 100 feet or meters based on the difference between the contour lines, and we have this lovely island to change from an aerial perspective, a contour map, onto a side profile graph to show accurate elevation and also gradient or slope. First, I have to establish what I'm going to analyze about this contour map. So I'm gonna draw a line, this red line, which could indicate a hiking path, or anything along the surface of the island. And we're going to use this to accurately look at the gradient, the change of elevation, and the distance between the contour lines from A to B. So moving from A and then end up at B. The next step to transfer your contour map, which is an aerial view, into a side view or profile graph using X and Y graph axes is to put some sort of indicator on your red line that you've drawn from A to B, and I'm starting from A, where you put this, I put this blue dot, wherever the red line crosses over or intersects a contour line, and you know the elevation of that contour line. So on the far left, when it first crosses over, it will be at elevation zero, the blue dot, the next one will be elevation 100, then 200, up to 500 at the top of the island and then on the other side towards the B side this would be a decrease in value of elevation from 500 down to zero and use the blue dots to indicate where this change in elevation occurs so what you create when you add the blue dots that cross over each contour line along this linear red line from A to B is you get a sequence of positions and points on your island which are accurate for both elevation and you can figure out the distance between the dots which will make it easier to transfer onto your X and Y axis graph and to create the side view or the profile view of your island. The next step is to construct your X and Y axis graph here we have a elevation graph with the x-axis being distance in feet or meters and the elevation on the y-axis is, is in feet or meters. And again on the distance we have A to the left and we have B on the right. So we have our red line just acting as our x-axis and the elevation on the y would be where you would plot your blue dots between the x and y plot. So I have my X and Y graph. Now I just added the contour map, the aerial view, directly onto the graph. This way I can directly see and transfer the blue points from the red line 
shown by this orange arrow for the left one. The first one is go directly from the red line directly down onto the X axis, which is the, the red line as well, going from A to B. And I'm using blue rectangles in place of the circles to indicate the point along the red line or the X axis where the contour line is passed and I also know the elevation of that contour line as the red line goes over it which is zero in this case. The next one to the right would be 100 then next 200 and 300 and across the entire island from A to B using these blue rectangles as an indicator of exactly where the red line crosses a contour line to get the accurate distances and therefore gradients of the island in my profile or side view graph. Once I have my x-axis, which is distance, and I have my blue rectangles indicating where the contour lines cross over the red line, and also my y-axis with elevation, I can then plot my x and y graph to show accurately my island in a side view or profile. So. I just used four values from the island, the two zero elevation contour lines, the one closest to A, next one closest to B, indicating the edge of the island with the water, beach, and then the two highest points of both 500 feet or meters, which is indicated by the Y horizontal dashed line and the correct distance along the red line again indicated by the x dash line going down to the x-axis on the exact point where the blue rectangles are so you have your x and y values in place you can just plot the different elevations throughout the whole island so when you plot your values for your island based on the red line from A to B, you get a graph that looks something like this with the plotted points for each contour line based on the distance from A to B and the correct elevation. This final step requires you to connect the dots, in this case the blue dots, with a freehand line. This, in this case it's green for the island and it creates your completed elevation graph, profile perspective or side view perspective of the island. So you had that contour map originally showing the aerial view with the contour lines indicating elevation and now you see the island in a different perspective, different way using this profile graph you could see the gradient the steepness the range of ch or change of elevation across the island which can be used for many different things so the more accurate the more data you have on the relief or the landscape the more information you have about the island in general or the landscape in general this is the Earth Science Classroom. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe, like, and share. And if you want more content and videos on Earth Science, please check out my channel.